equals a to the f of x. And now what we're going to do is power it by to the negative 1. So what that means is we're going to get x to the negative 1 equals a to the negative 1 f of x. And all I'm using, let me just clean this up a little bit, so f of x. I'm just using my uh, power rule here. All right? Now, um, let me do this, f of x. So this is x to the negative 1 equals 1 divided by a. And this is, um, this is a negative 1 here. It's not here. So uh, b to the negative 1 equals 1 over b. So that's all I'm doing there. And then I have this to the f of x. Now I'm going to rewrite it back into the log form. So my power is f of x. I'm going to write f of x equals log. Your base is going to be 1 over a, 1 divided by a. And then you have your value, which is x to the negative 1. Okay. So thus, thus we have, this is what f of x equals. Now if I want to um, do my power property, I'm going to pull this negative 1 in front. So I have f of x equals negative log. And that part is your, is that on here? No. So basically, um, you're just using your power property. Uh, 1 divided by a to the value of x. So now all we have to do is uh, flip the, multiply everything through by negative, negative 1, and that's going to give us negative f of x equals um, log uh, base one, 1 divided by a to the x. All right, so basically uh, we just proved it. That's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.